गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन साई राम टुडे ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू चैप्टर थर्टीन मल्टीप्लीकेशन पार्ट फाइव नाउ इन टूडेज वीडियो ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट इज द लास्ट वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ओके विद दिस विद दिस वीडियो द चैप्टर विल गेट ओवर चिल्ड्रेन ओके सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस वर्ड प्रॉब्लम एट होम एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन सम्स एट होम नाउ सी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन देर आर एटीन सैक्स ऑफ राइस इन अ वैन If each sack weights one zero five kg, that is one hundred and five kg, what is the total weight of the sacks? Now, what is given in this question? Here it is given. Uh, there are eighteen sacks of rice in a van. That is number of sacks in a van. How many sacks were there? Eighteen sacks were there. And what is the weight of each sack? The weight of each sack is one hundred and five. kg so what you have to find out you have to find out the total weight of how many sacks 18 sacks okay so accordingly you have to write the statement then do the working and then and then write the answer okay so let us see what will be the first statement so what will be your first statement Yes, weight of one sack of rice. How much is the weight of one sack of rice? One hundred and five kg. Okay, weight of one sack of rice is how much? One hundred and five kg. Now let us see second statement. Weight of eighteen sacks of rice now you have to find the weight of how many sacks 18 sacks of rice so what you are going to do 18 105 multiply by 18 that is 105 multiply by 18 so now you are going to write the number 105 multiply by 18 you have to draw the line Put the sign of multiplication and then you have to start the sum, children. Okay, so we are going to start from units place. That is eight multiplied by five, then eight multiplied by zero, then eight multiplied by one. So eight five zero is how much? You have to say the table of eight. Eight five zero forty. So what will come down? Zero will come down and four will go carry over on tens place. Now eight zeros are zero. Any number multiplied by zero, you will get zero. Zero plus four, four. Now you will multiply eight with one. Eight ones are eight. Second time when you multiply, you have to put one zero. Now you will multiply one with five. One five is a five. Very good. One zero is a zero. One ones are one. Now you will add these numbers. Okay, you will draw the line. You will put the sign of plus, and now you are going to add from units place. Okay, zero plus zero is how much? Zero. Four plus five, nine. Eight plus zero, eight. And you will bring one. Down. So how much you got? One thousand eight hundred and ninety kg is the weight of how many sacks? Eighteen sacks. Now you have to write the answer. Answer is what? Yes, the total weight of eighteen sacks of rice is one thousand eight hundred and ninety kg. Now let us see second question. Okay, now let us see second question. If the total cost of one chair is rupees seven fifty, what is the total cost of twenty four such chairs? Now, what is given in this question? Cost of one chair. Cost of one chair is given. How much is the cost of one chair? Rupees seven fifty. And how many chairs you have to find out total cost of how many chairs? Twenty four chairs. Okay, so we are going to write the statement first. So what will be the first statement? 
cost of one chair your statement will be cost of one chair how much is the cost of one chair rupees 750 that is 750 now what will be the second statement you have to find the cost of how many chairs 24 chairs okay cost of 24 chairs equal to what you are going to do yes 24 multiply by 750 now you are going to write the numbers 750 down what will come 24 you have to draw the line you have to put the sign of multiplication and then you will multiply okay now you will start from units place that is 4 multiplied by 0 4 multiplied by 5 and 4 multiplied by 7 then you will start with 2 okay now start with first number 4 zeros are Zero, four fives are you know table of four right? Four fives are so much multiply and tell me four fives are twenty. Yes, zero will come down and two will get carry over on hundreds place. Now what you have to do? Four multiply by seven. Four sevens are so much twenty eight. And twenty eight plus two is how much? Twenty eight plus two twenty nine thirty. So you will write thirty down. Okay, both the numbers will come down. Now when you are multiplying for the second time, what you have to do? You have to put one zero, right? And now you will multiply two with zero, two with five, and two with seven. Okay. Now you will start two zeros. Is how much? Zero two fives are ten. Zero will come down. You have to cut two, write one there. Okay. Now what you will do? Multiply two with seven. Two seven is how much? Fourteen and fourteen plus one is how much? Fifteen. Right. So you you will put the numbers down. Both the numbers will come down. Now, what you will do? You will draw one line. You will put the sign of plus, and you are going to add the numbers. Now, zero plus zero is how much? Zero. Again, zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Three plus five, eight. And you will bring one down. So, what is the answer? Eighteen thousand. Rupees. Okay. Now you have to write the answer statement. So how you are going to write answer statement? Yes. The cost of twenty four chairs is how much? Rupees eighteen thousand. Okay, children. Now we will see third question. All this word problem you have to write in your book, children. Okay. Now see the question. Make a Two digit and three digit number using the digits five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Only ones, okay? Multiply one with the other. Now here five digits are given. That is five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You have to make one three digit number and one two digit number. But you don't have to use it twice. Only once you can use one digit. Okay, and then you have to multiply and find the answer. So let us write first statement. What will be the first statement? Two digit number. Okay, two digit number is fifty nine out of five, six, seven, eight, nine. So first you have to make two digit number. You can take any number. I have taken fifty nine. Now what you will write? What will be the second statement? Three digit number. What is the three digit number? Six, seven, eight. So if you, you can take any number, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have taken two digit number fifty nine and three digit number six seventy eight. Now you have to multiply. So you, what you will do? You will write six seventy eight multiply by fifty nine. 
draw the line put the sign of multiplication and now we will start from 9 that is units place 9 eights are so much 72 so 2 will come down 7 will go carry over on tens place so 9 sevens are how much it is 63 63 plus 7 is how much 70 so 0 will come down again 7 will go carry over on hundreds place that is 6 now what you will do multiply 9 with 6 9 6 is how much 54 and 54 plus 7 is how much 61 so both the numbers you have to write down now before you start second number what you have to do put one zero now five eights are 40 write zero down cut seven and write four now you will multiply five by seven five sevens are 35 35 plus four is how much 39 so write nine down and three on hundreds please cut seven write three now you will multiply five six five six are 30. 30 plus 3, 33. Now you will put draw one line. Put the sign of plus. Now you have to add the numbers. 2 plus 0, 2. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 9, 10. 0 down, carry over. 1 will go on 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. Again 0 will come down, 1 will go over 4. Sorry, 3. Now, 3 plus 1, 4. So, what is your answer? 4,002. So, now you have to write the, sorry, 40,002. So, now you are going to write the answer. What will be the answer? The product of both the number is 40,002. This is your answer, children. Now, with this, we have completed this chapter thank you 40 thousand